All right, everyone. Uh, Thursday na naman, so double header na naman tayo, no? And I would like to welcome you to our weekly market overview. Uh, kung hindi nyo pa napapanood, yung daily charting session natin for today is already up, and I'll put the link to that in the description box below. So exciting yung nangyayari sa market, no? Uh, start na tayo agad kasi marami yung gusto kong pag-usapan sana. Let's start with the index. So finally, we've broken above yung high ng right shoulder sa index, no? And close firm uh, for now. For uh, today, yung weekly candle natin is still above 7,100. Okay? I just wanted to start with a weekly chart para lang mas stark at makita nyo agad yung breakout from here, di ba? Talagang malinis yung breakout. Last week, nag-fail yung breakout. This week, tumuloy. That's good, no? Which means na at least sa weekly chart, ito na yung tinitignan nating possible range moving forward. Okay? Let's go to the daily. Sa daily, okay, uh, nag-break tayo. Ito yung shoulder high na yun. Nag-break tayo. We retested it. It held. And then today, tumuloy yung breakout. Albeit, it's not it's not the best of candles. Kumbaga, mas maganda sana kung parang ganito, di ba? But, uh, still, we're holding above yung key area natin from before na 7,000 to 7,100, no? Um, tapos, na-break din natin tong minor resistance here after multiple attempts. So, if we continue to hold above this area, then what we're looking at possibly is ito na yung magiging bago nating trading range in Q4. Okay? I realize we're about halfway through October, but, you know, better late than never. Diba? Baka ito yung maging trading range natin for Q4. And if we can break above 74 area, then that's even more bullishness ano, for us. Then from there, we can assess kung tatama ba siya sa mga minor uh, resistance na to. Diba? Or the diretso tayo dito sa 7,800 or 7,900 na area. But so far, so good. Okay? Uh, it did what we wanted. Hindi yung isang parang ganito lang na pagtaas. Tumaas siya, nag-gather, tumaas, nag-gather, tumaas, so nag-gather ulit. So it's doing the healthier thing, no? At least for me. What I don't want to see right now from this is for price to come back, take out this low, retest underneath, find resistance, break down, and find a new low. Kasi kapag nangyari ito, uh, ito na lang, parang may minor support lang tayo along the way. If that doesn't hold at 6.9, then highly likely we come back to revisit 6.7. Okay, so that's something that I don't want to see. The bullish scenario, as we already discussed, uh, pwede na mag-range muna tayo dito. That's fine. Pwedeng mag-pull back tayo ng konti. Maybe come back ulit dito sa 7,064 na area. Diba? Or and of course, syempre, yung everyone's favorite, tumuloy lang tayo heading towards the next level of resistance right there. Also, remind ko lang na meron tayong unfilled gap from here that could also act as minor resistance along the way. Okay, but overall, uh, it's looking a lot better than it did before. Okay? It's looking much better. And this is why I only do tong mga weekly market overviews once a week. Kasi I don't want to get my hopes up too high sa mga sectoral indices and sa index mismo. Kasi I want uh, to give it time to play out before I uh, say anything or before I try, before I make up my mind. Para bang mas meron lang confirmation kahit pa paano. Diba? Okay, so moving on, let's start with FINA kasi exciting. Nag-break out na finally from the sideways movement, no? So for the past month, yun lang sinasabi ko, we've been stuck sideways, we've been stuck sideways. Then last week, sabi ko we were finally able to break above yung high nitong maliit na range na to. And from there, we just push higher, no? Okay, uh, actually I was half expecting na baka mag-range tayo sandali for a week, pero... Uh, syempre, hindi naman masama na tumuloy siya. And we were able to break above the high end of that range. So, what we see, what we want to see now, number one, is ma-fill yung gap, di ba? Without rejection na sobrang lakas. Meaning, pupunta dyan, ma-fill yung gap, tas bigla ka lang bubuhusan. Huwag naman sana, no? So, what that, that does is, ngayon na nang hold tayo above this, if we can close the week above, 1528, 1530 na lang para mas maganda, then, what might happen is either mag-arrange tayo dito or baka magkaroon tayo ng minor pullback but that should lead to potentially itong range na for us to trade within. 
Okay? Pull back, we can't honestly say na hanggang dito lang, ha? Honestly, kahit na pull back, bumalik siya dito sa top end ng range na to, hindi pa rin siya nakakagulat. I mean, it's not the best, but I wouldn't panic because of it. Kasi, syempre, dyan tayo nag-consolidate prior to the breakout, eh. Diba? People can say na, eh, ito kasi nag-breakout din. That's true. But, this is still an area of consolidation. So, hindi na agulat if we do pull back there, find support, then push higher. Okay, what we don't want to see from here, okay, is for price to come back. Okay, come back, break below this. Okay, itong may fractal low na to. Break below that, test underneath. Kasi what likely happens is either we retest support and if we do, Parang sa daming beses na niyang tamaan, baka hindi na siya mag-hold, no? So, yun yung nakakatakot. Kapag hindi siya mag-hold, so next scenario, breakdown, push up, try ulit. Kapag hindi nakabawi agad, then baka tumuloy na. Then, babalik tayo either here in this brief area of consolidation or even lower. So, again, wag naman sana, no? But, again, uh, as like ko nga sinasabi, it's best to be prepared for all scenarios kaysa na nagugulat tayo along the way. Okay. Uh, next, let's take a look at prop. So prop, um, for the longest time, it was looking like baka mabasag yung neckline ng head and shoulders pattern na to. And then finally, we broke to the upside, no? We broke to the upside. Um, so, what might happen from here is baka gumaya siya sa index na i-break niya to, yung right shoulder high. Okay, then maybe we get a retest and from there, push higher, targeting yung high ng head, na sa mga 3.8 area, 3.839, no? Or, pwede rin na gamitin natin to as range, parang invalidate na natin altogether tong pattern na to. Possible. Pero, posible pa rin na mag-print tayo ng, di ba, uh, high, lower high, possible pa rin na mag-print tayo ng lower high, then from there, push lower and continue this, breaking that neckline altogether, testing it from underneath, push down, possible na bumalik sa 2560 2, or lower. Okay? Again, wag naman sana, di ba? But, again, it's best to be prepared. Okay? Um, another possible scenario from here is we could see a brief pullback coming back into this area of consolidation here. Okay? Then from there, push higher. Push, targeting the right shoulder high. Nasa 3,460. Then if we can break that, again, next possible target is nasa mga 3,866 with minor resistances around 3,630. Okay, so yun yung prop. At the very least, uh, masasabi natin, it's, it's looking much better than it did weeks prior. no? So maganda rin na binabantayan natin ito weekly. Sama-sama natin tinitingnan. Nakikita natin yung mga changes. Nakikita natin for better or for worse. Uh, next, let's take a look at uh, mining, no? So, mining, uh, sabi nga natin, uh, from an ascending triangle, before, nag-move siya, nag-range, then ngayon, nag-break out na tayo sa top end ng range. Kung hindi ako nagkakamali, this is mostly thanks to SCC, kasi tinitingin ako ibang mga mining. Meron naman mga gumagalaw, PXC, PXP, may konting galaw, ganon, APX, may konting galaw, uh, AT, may konting galaw, but overall, Yung pinaka-bullish talaga na mining connected is SCC, no? So, I think, I think I could be wrong. And if I'm wrong, feel free to tell me in the comment section below. Isa siya sa mga major proponents kung bakit ito nag-break out finally dito sa level na to. Okay? If we continue to hold above this level, then we open up this trading range here. So, from 10.5 to 11.5 area, no? But same with yung sa iba, hindi na agulat kung either mag-shallow retracement tayo retest tong area of resistance ato or even deeper diba finding a retest support dito sa mga cluster of highs na to so somewhere around this area that's still fine uh, for me that's still bullish no what i don't want to see is for price to break below 9000 kung nabasag yung 9000 din yung bullish na structure na na form natin feeling ko medyo invalidated na kasi parang uh, we were finally able to break above the highs. Dapat, uh, bulls should be firmly in control para mag-sell down ng ganong katinde. Then, dap ibig sabihin, nawala sa control ng bulls yung, uh, yung chart na to, yung market na to, no? Na bears are now firmly in control. Pwedeng bumaba, mag-break ng 9,000, retest it from underneath, 
then use this area as its new trading range. So yun yung bearish scenario niya. But for now, again, it's looking much more bullish, no? Uh, matagal din siya nag-ipon ng energy bago siya nag-break out. So hopefully, tuloy-tuloy na tayo from here on. So guys, uh, paalala ko lang ulit, if you like this video, if you find it helpful, educational, or even mildly entertaining, I would really appreciate it if you give this video a like and consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, it's one of the few ways for me to determine kung talaga nga ba nakakatulong yung mga content na ginagawa ko sa inyo. Diba? Kasi syempre, yun naman yung goal. I love to teach, but I would also like to help. So I would really appreciate it if you let me know what you guys think, okay? Kung meron kayong mga questions, concerns, violent reactions, please feel free to post them in the comment section below as well. Okay? Uh, moving on, let's take a look at Hindu industry. Hindu. So ito, um, marching along, okay? So from your assessment natin from before, not a lot has changed in the sense na we're pushing higher and we're trading within this new range as we anticipated. Next level of resistance is at 10.8. Break above that, then I think next level is around 11.150, 11.2 na area here. Okay? But uh, we'll adjust our levels kapag umabot na tayo doon, no? Um... If we can break above that, then that opens up this entire area, no? Tong consolidation na to as the next possible resistance. What we don't want to see from here is for it to break down, retake this low here. Feeling ko, pag nangyari yun, we will retake itong 9750 na area. Actually, this just needs to move. Uh, let's move that together, no? This needs to go to about here na. So, pag nag-break tong 9830 na area, retest underneath, mag-hold. Then what happens from there is itong range na yung mag-open up for possible trading. So bababa siya, no? Um, it doesn't look like it's gonna happen just because talagang steady. <laughs> steady. However, uh, that said, um, mabuti ng handa tayo. Yes, there was a strong move here but at least nagkaroon tayo ng minor consolidation here prior to moving up again. Nagkaroon tayo ng konting pullback. So meron tayong base kahit pa paano. Hindi lang siya yung parang ganito na angat, parang mas mahirap, no? Parang kunyari, ganito, mabilis kinain din. At least ito, nag-ipon tayo midway. Nag-gather tayo ng konti. Ito rin, di ba? Mabilis, malaki rin yung kinain. So again, pullbacks are normal. Ayoko lang sana makita mag-break below this kasi that's a flip zone, meaning it was previous resistance, turned support. And I just don't wanna see price go below that again kasi I expect na mag-hold yan. Okay? Uh, next, let's take a look at hold. Holdings. All right, it has barely broken above yung right shoulder. So for the first time, hindi siya sumunod sa index. Talagang hindi, hindi niya na mirror completely, no? Uh, for this, I want to reserve judgment. Uh, kung okay lang sa inyo, we'll discuss this more next week. Kasi I want to see what happens. I want some type of confirmation. Hindi lang yung ganyang uh, gabuhok na breakout, di ba? Parang... Um, Napaka-unconvincing. However, if we do close the week above this right shoulder here, then similar sa PSEI, this, became, this becomes the new trading range. Okay? At least based on this time frame. Then from here, ayaw ko rin makita na mag-break below ta tayo nitong low na to. 6-7 uh, na area. Break below that. Possible retest underneath. Mag-hold yan. Push. Then baka mangyari, maging malaking range muna to. Or kung hindi mag-hold, mabasag tong area na to. We might see it push lower down to here, then finally down to here. Okay, I honestly don't think that happens without a fundamental shift. Okay, but that's just something to keep in mind and watch out for, for everyone. And then finally, let's take a look at serve. So serve after yun nga, uh, parang kakasabi ko lang kanina sa Indu, di ba Indu, sabi ko at least kahit pa paano, uh, kumuha siya ng buelo. So, ito talaga, tuloy-tuloy lang eh. ba? Diba? So, nakakita tayo ng resistance here. And then, nag-pull back tayo. Okay? Where could it pull back to? Uh, possible na we could pull back to this area of previous highs here. This cluster of highs. So, possible like this. So, kung ganon, I wanna see sana something like a flag. Something orderly. Okay? Para lang uh, mas madaling basahin. But it wouldn't surprise me kung mas mabilis yung pullback. It's possible na mag-pullback tayo only to find it bouncing up uh, very quickly afterwards. 
Okay? But, again, let's wait and see what happens. Um, kung makapag-breakout tayo dito, kasi na-fill na natin yung gap eh. Na-fill natin yung gap, tas doon din tayo nag-reject essentially eh. If we can break above tong 2062 na area, then that opens up tong cluster of highs na to as our next possible level or levels or area of resistance. Um, from here, even if magkaroon tayo ng deeper pullback, based purely lang, ha, purely lang sa weekly chart, ito yung last previous area of consolidation na hindi pa rin nakakagulat if we pull back there. In fact, if you use uh, the FIB tool uh, dun sa area na to, yung leg na yan, diba? that's the 76.4% pa rin. No? Uh, possible pa rin na makahanap tayo ng uh, retracement to that area. It wouldn't be the best. Honestly, it wouldn't look very appealing, but it also wouldn't be very surprising. It's not, it's not the ideal scenario. Yun na lang. If we can break below etong 1.5 na area, I think medyo GG na. Ibig sabihin eh, baka mag-rotate na yung money sa ibang sectors and for the interim, uh, hayaan muna nilang mag-stew etong service sector natin. No? So guys, dun po nagtatapos ang ating weekly market overview. As always, maraming maraming salamat po sa panonood. I really appreciate it. And before I say my you know, favorite lines, I would just like to apologize kung merong background noise. Uh, I've mentioned this before na may ginagawa kasi rito near us and palapit na ng palapit yung construction. In fact, I think it's almost uh, beside us na. So, hindi ko naiiwasan na every now and then may background noise na nagaganap. So, I just try to talk over it. So, I do apologize uh, if you find it distracting or naapektuhan yung OCD nyo, no? So, and as I was saying, as always, guys, good luck and happy trading.